the humans have discovered a beautiful lagoon and decided to build a shorefront resort. Little do they know, something creeps beneath the surface. Ho 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 ho. Abam, welcome to Creepy World 4, everybody. Uh, we are playing a map where we are in a lagoon. Uh, so already they are trying to wall me in, which is honestly super unchill, my human human dudes. So I kind of think we want to burst out of here. Uh, we need to get some more urn power. Let's just kind of... Which way do I want to go? This way? Maybe that way is, makes more sense. Uh, there are planes. Uncool, my plane dudes. Uncool. Let's just immediately just try and kind of get out of here. Because if I just have some creep here, they can't actually um, wall it in. I just wonder if that is the best side. I'm, I literally chose this at random. I feel like it probably is actually the worst side because it has mortar defense. Um, but if we can get up here and actually take out a couple of the terraformers, uh, we should be all right. And I feel like the creep is kind of going to actually flood enough of this so they won't, won't wall too hard. Like, we can get over the wall. It's not going to be super easy. Oh, over there. That is way better. Okay, right. I completely uh, change of heart here uh, because that is free power. And if I can just get up to that, I think that will be good. I'm just trying to look out for missiles. There aren't that many. Uh, they've got uh, really good that they've done some shields around this. Um, I kind of feel like I can assault over here relatively soon. Uh, did we get the extra power? We did. Okay, they're not going to really build all that much more. So, just to get some early additional creep, let's go to a location and maybe it would have made more sense to stagger these coming out. You've seen the tactic. Okay, they don't have defense, but them all landing at once is actually going to be weaker than if they were to come in a little more piecemeal. Okay, they don't have defenses, so they can repair fairly quickly. I'm just wondering if any of that damage sticks. Uh, oh god, eventually we will get that kill. Okay, right, yeah, we need, we need we need to stagger this. Okay, I'm just I'm just letting this play out because I'm lazy. Um, so I'm hoping these will land before it is fully repaired. Nice. Okay, great. Uh, they are going to rebuild. It isn't the biggest emitter, but that being a slow distraction. Right, let's try and take out the M rift, and then this will eventually overthrow. Those guys. Am I under any time pressure? There's no AC, but they do have lasers. Uh, nice. Okay, Emrith down. That will eventually overthrow um, the evil human overlords. Are they going to make anti creep? Maybe. Up there, it looks very hard to assault. A lot of missile defense around the town. Ah, oh, well, they keep their urns. Okay. Not going to be able to get in there anytime soon. Do you guys have missiles? Let's just kind of fire roughly in that sort of direction. I, I don't want this to get triggered, because that will make anti-creep. God, I'm actually worried about that. Oh. Oh, there's a super missile. But we did get the M rift. Oh, they can rebuild. Oh, no, we've triggered it. Oh, God, I completely didn't pay attention. I really like when maps do... When maps do that, I think that is fun uh, to have. Oh god, look how much anti-creep there is. Okay, maybe that was a terrible, terrible call. I just didn't even didn't even pay attention. As a way to stop you just blasting someone. Right, I need access to urns and fast. Okay, there's an easy one. I think that's just going to slowly cause me problems, so let us get into attack mode. I could probably get that one. Is there any other easy ones? God, that, that was just a terrible mistake. That just has made my life harder. I, d 
don't see how they're getting anti-creep. But if I destroy the factory, does that release the anti-creep? Kind of can't remember. <laughs> Bit of me feels like it does. Oh, here's our next boy. Let's just emit over here. Okay, we should be able to get that relatively soon. Uh, okay, you're a little bit off to the side, my boy. We could just be putting down more emitters. That might make sense. Okay, a lot of AC. Oh god, this was such a such a terrible error. Yeah, because the because <laughs> maybe I should have let this get built, as it actually give me somewhere to attack from. Uh, where do I want to be attacking? I feel like if I can bombard that enough, we're good. And everyone just shoot that boy. No, don't fire at random. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. You're fine. I was worried that was going to just trigger some goop for them. Okay, hopefully we can just keep up the pressure and just pinpoint a bunch of urns for us. Okay, the last one's all kind of like built a bit, a bit uh, close together. We should slowly be able to take it out. Nice. Okay, that's another urn. Right, where next? Do you have missile defense? They do. Okay, we might have to attack that more conventionally. But I could probably just do that with regular boys. That's too many missiles. Okay, we're going to have to go in old school to some of these other places. Oh, that MRF is up at the top. I don't really want to trigger another thing making anti-creep because we've already got a whole load of that to deal with. So let's go like this. Just push into there. Uh, maybe a Crimsonator? This whole setup could have been a little further back. Um, and I want a Crimsonator right up front to like really, really push in. Try and take some stuff out. If we can get some of these shields down, then this whole um, setup gets to move forwards a little bit. Uh, that is not going to produce in its lifetime. There we go. Oh wait, do you have anti-creep creation potential? God, I should really like pay just pay any kind of attention to the map. Uh, but that famously not my style. Right. This is honestly not terrible. Let's get another field gen. Oh, we got an urn. Okay, just just push in there. Uh, because if I go this way, I can actually just cut off the back end. Nice, their shields are going down. They're running out of arc. I'm glad that they actually they are actually kind of using their resources. Because um, sometimes when you play these and they just have infinite. I feel like it removes a little bit of, like, tactical options. Um, it definitely makes it harder, but it can be nice to, like, take out these bases and watch them kind of, like, lose a bit of, um, bit of production. Okay, just keep pushing around. Oh, uh, like this last little, little beacon of hope. Oh, having a bad day. Okay, great, that will all fall. Uh, let's just get all of this destroyed. Okay, right. I kind of want to assault up here. Does that laser, like, clean the top? It does, so that's going to make it harder. Slowly moving up. Oh, there's a guy there. Wow, how did I just never see you? Can we just get one field gen to just kind of help focus? If I can just get an emitter up there. Oh, God, like those lasers. Oof. Feels bad, man. Feels super bad. Okay, let's just try. Nice. Okay, there is one. Uh, he is going to get cut up a bit, but just kind of push on in. Uh, we got that guy. Okay, we can kind of just do a conventional assault into that place pretty soon. Okay, Lagoon. Very cool. Uh, my grave. I just want to, like, take this, like, surface and stop them making AC up here, because that will actually speed up this whole process quite a lot. 
Um, I don't mind if a bit of this is just wasted by lasers. What is this? Just like a mine? It's a tomb. God, we could just try and take that. Oh god, lasers. Lasers bad. But we have the hill. Uh, I think what I'm going to want is just to mesh this. Um, the only reason I'm doing that is so I don't need to worry as much about them rebuilding. I do want to assault this place. Ooh, their lasers have turned off. Because have I taken their a green art? Field turn. Go that way. Um, have a crimson, maybe? All right, AC is just going down pretty steadily. Nice. Okay, we'll be real tactical. This will be the place that we go to next, because if we can take out their red on. Ah, oh, this is such a nicely made map. Really cool. Okay, they're going to try and build up there, but hopefully that guy will keep them in line. Just push in. It's going to take a little while for those walls to fall, but all walls must fall. Uh, everyone knows that. And when the old um, M-Rift goes down... Oh, nice, those guys have been disconnected. Real good. And actually, God, we're just kind of like flowing in here. God, I didn't even really notice, but like... Wow, just passive creep is doing its job. Uh, right. Try to take out the urn port, if you can. Oh, and that M-Rift for this whole area is back there. Man, that actually have been a really smart spot to try and snipe. Um, we have made it into this base. Their production is dropping, which is just fantastic. Uh, M-Rift is down, so all of this will go... Perfect. Um, and... Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Would you look at that? Um, man, that little uh, beachfront town. Do you get a beach at the lake? Is that how it works? I don't know. Shore. Shorefront town. This building, very tough. Other buildings, not quite so much. Uh, the hospital is sort of, sort of exploding. Can we get emitters just to kind of like help? Okay, hospital, we're getting it. Uh, I don't think these buildings really matter that much. Do they actually provide resources? It's 20.1. I don't think so. I think they're just kind of decoration, but it's still good to destroy. Okay, you guys aren't ready yet. I feel like a super bombardment might be the easiest. Or uh, a single blob. It's going to get sniped early by these guys, but I think we can deal with that. I'm just going to kind of just field gen in that direction just to see if it helps. Um, and you'll have a crimson as well. Nice, okay, the sniper. Ah, oh, nuts. Okay, right, it's be triggered. Um, right, begin Assault Force 5000. Uh, right, what is going on? Wow, you guys have a lot of creep going on. And are they just going to rebuild that before the next blob comes out? The answer is no. We're, we're up there. We're in. Okay, with the Emrith down, that place loses ammo, which is good. I think that is all okay. This area is kind of getting blasted. A super bombardment up there might make sense, or we just push in the side. I'm kind of just going to bypass, short term, a lot of these defenses, because I think it will actually be quicker for me just to punch up there. And take that out. Uh, if they passively die, uh, just because all of that ammo comes from that M rift, I think. Okay, just really, really push. They will start triggering some AC at some point, but we can maybe curtail that with some emitters immediately. Okay, right, that thing doesn't uh, even release uh, anti creep. Okay, well, this, this part, super easy. Um, that will, will go. Let's get all of that stuff destroyed, and you, all of them, can go as well. Okay, they are definitely surrounded. They are struggling. 
so we've got a lot of options on how we can actually assault this place. Like, a lot of options. Um, and... Like, you know, we could just do it with spores. Uh, you know, blobs won't work, but skimmers probably could get up there. Um, but I think I want to do this in a kind of sillier way. Okay, just ra just random creep is kind of actually flowing up there pretty pretty well. I was trying to do something wacky with making a giant egg wave, but I think <laughs> I think we're just going to get up there. Unless their AC production... Okay, their AC production could stall this. How much are they making? God, they're actually making a lot quickly. Okay, I'm glad we didn't trigger this too fast, because, God, they pumped out like 4k in a single wave. Oh, it's too close. Okay, wow, just even just a few eggs. God, really... Really got up there. I think they might be okay because of the anti-creep, but, like... God, that base ain't, ain't super happy. Wow, I might actually have to, like, even try and help them <laughs> with... Pushing some of the creep away for a little bit. Which is not what I want, but I want to give them all the eggs in the world. Okay, right, we're up to max eggs, which is exactly what I want. Now, transparent creep, uh, just because I need all of this stuff gone. Uh, let's just let that pop. Now, I want to try and control this with field gens. Just I don't want too much of the this wave to go the wrong way, everyone push in this sort of direction because I want to kill them in one big just clean sweep let's make it real clean give them a whole load of um, crimsons as well play and now pop all eggs <laughs> uh, so yeah we just got quite a lot of creep that's okay. This was maybe overkill. I I thought this would be good. I didn't realize how good this would be. Also, the field gens are just doing fantastically. Uh, my my god. Um, the like the humble little base. <laughs> okay, man. I've never really tried doing a field gen egg strat before, and. Man, like, controlling all of that creep in one, one assault. It doesn't matter how good your mortars are. It doesn't matter how many defenses you have. Um, <laughs> wow, they were making a lot of anti-creep there, and I, <laughs> I just don't think that they're going to be able to hold out. Man, oh, it worked so well. Like, there's just not even, like, creep left on the ground back there. Um, the little base. It's out of here. Um, and this last humble mortar with no ammo. For me. The little mortar that could. Or couldn't. But, like, like, they, like, even just drained. Drained all the creep. God, that's, like, real strong. Okay, that was a... That was a good... That was a good strap. I feel like it worked very nicely. Wow. Uh, man, that was honestly one of one of the coolest maps. Like, it, you know, it might look pretty humble, but just, like, felt so nicely designed. Uh, really good. Until next time, everybody. See ya.